All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, and Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to tell it to you straight. I'm going to tell you the truth. Our darkest days are ahead of us. Not behind us. And now is the time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's going to be a new world order out there. Just clap for that, you stupid bastard. This will be the time because you really need uh, world order, financial world order. This alternative vision argues that ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. We are here. Who will develop the great narrative, the story for the future, that in order to shape the future, you have first to imagine the future, you have to design the future, and then you have to execute. I'm gonna tell. Yeah, it's lucky for that music, unnecessary, but um, but yeah, man. I mean, they've been telling you. I actually remember this speech. I was trying to find it on the internet couldn't find it but i'm glad that i save a lot of things but yeah so um they're telling you like it is a new financial world order but uh but to bring forth that new financial world order you know things have to transpire and as you heard uh barack obama said people are too small-minded to govern themselves they need to you know give over their rights to an all powerful sovereign which is a new world order and everybody being micro C hip turned into a damn robot and control. Cause that's what actually what they want. It sounds crazy, but you don't know the devil that you're dealing with. So we're going to watch the video probably a few times, but I want to get these scriptures. So So it says, woe unto the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. One people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand. Because you got to understand when they try to bring forth this totalitarian system, people are going to buck up because you went from moving to and fro, doing what you wanted to do if you was able to do it, to now everything is governed. Everything is controlled. Everything is basically a hey, do, do you have authorization to do this? Like everything is going to be tied to a total, I mean, to a um, social credit system. So, yeah, people are going to uprise. And if you really want to start to uprise real quick, cause a famine, which is being orchestrated before our eyes. So right now we're dealing with um, scarcity inflation. You know, the dollar is devouring, but the, but the goods that we are buying. So the money already is devaluing. But the goods that we are buying is less, but you're paying more. You know? So, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They should not regard their kings or princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power. You know? And I, every time I read these sets of scriptures, it sounds like the purge. You know? Where the powers that be, they they just going to cause chaos. But the people are going to take matters into their own hands. That don't mean that they're going to win, but it's just prophetic. And that's where you get, you know, the, the class wars, the race wars, the social wars, you know, social class wars, all of that. But also Esau Edom, he can't touch a Joe Biden or a Kamala or a Donald Trump or the powers that be. But you know who he can touch? Jacob that's around him. The term displacement. So they since they can't take their anger out on, you know, the um, powers that be, they're going to take their anger out on Jake, which is called Jacob's trouble, which is the world's trouble. And it said a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able when you was watching this video. Right. You saw military people. You saw tanks and things like that. That's what's coming. So let's read the famous scripture. This devil is about to do it. 
It said, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. So this is everybody. And of the sea, for the devils come down unto you having great wrath, because he know he had but a short time. So this man is destructive. He know that he have a short time, and he's trying to take as many people out as he can. You know how the saying go, misery love company. You know? See, the, the elite knows their fate. The regular everyday Edomite don't. The elite is trying to transform the world into him being God and everybody else being servants. And he's literally trying to get inside you by his technology. So he is coming down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. Look to you straight. I'm going to tell you the truth. Our darkest days are ahead of us, not behind us. And that's a fact. That is a fact. And that's what the prophets pretty much be saying, that the darkest days is ahead. It says, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, which means that you're weak. You're, you're perplexed. You, you have no, you don't know which way to turn. You have no hope. That's what this man is causing and is going to be at an all time high. And it says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Nobody, you know, keep the ways of the Lord. Everybody is trusting themselves in idols that is contrary to the Lord. And the scripture says, since iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So that's what's going on each day. People's hearts is growing cold. It's survival of the fittest. Things is getting more expensive. You know, um, uh, things getting more oppressive. People getting more vexed. People going to start taking matters into their own hands. And they're not going to regard anybody's feelings. And I don't care about you being my homeboy. Can you help me out, homeboy? So it says, therefore have the curse devoured the earth. Now, when you go 10 chapters over to Isaiah 34 and 5, talks about the sword being bathed in heaven coming upon the people of my curse, Idumia. Idumia is the um, Greek way of saying Edom. So it says, therefore have the curse devoured the earth, the Edomites, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, Job uh, 24 and 9. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and a few men left. When you go into that word burnt, it's not talking about fire. It's talking about people being ignited with anger because the things that's going to transpire is going to cause anger. That's why we read about the sedition among men. And it's going to be a few men left because remember, Depop, they have to bring Depop, you know, um, that that devil, Yuval uh, Noah Harari. He's a so-called professor from uh, the University of um, Israel. But um, he always talking about how. It's too many people on in the earth, and since the earth is going into a digital world and where it's going to be ruled by AI and robots, that is too many people. So well, what are we going to do with them? <laughs> I know what he's going to try to do. As a matter of fact, I can't even say try because it ain't going to be him himself. But the Lord said, the Lord said he come that um the devil come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. That great wrath, man. That's Jacob's trouble. He's about to take a lot of people out. And Jacob is going to be the forefront of it. That's why King David said in Psalm 17 and 13, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. This is the Lord's sword. This is the Lord's judgment. He just using him. So it says the new wine mourner. That's the new system that's about to come. The vine language, all the merry heart do sigh. Like I said earlier. Going to and fro because you got the means to do it. You got the freedom, the liberty to do it. That's about to stop. The mirth of the tabret ceaseth and the noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the heart ceaseth. Because you got to understand, man, like people really do not understand what this devil is trying to bring to pass. We're telling you, but you said, but you make it sound like it's so far fetch. The mirth of the tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice end endeth, the joy of the heart ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. You know, 
So it ain't going to be no more, oh, it's the weekend. I just got off of work. I'm about to go get me some wine or some alcohol and listen to some music and have a good time. It's going to be the opposite. If it's even alcohol in the world to come. <laughs> if it's even alcohol shit, it's probably going to be not even good. Cause I ain't going to lie. Like, I used to be a drinker, but not as much anymore because the liquor don't, I be getting headaches and shit. It just, it just don't, it ain't the same, you know? But just imagine, but now you drinking this horrible liquor, this fake ass wine while you in a state of mourning, that's going to cause more mourning. Cause, cause what I realized that whatever, um, status, I'm gonna say status, whatever mood you're in, the alcohol increase it. So that's why it says they should not drink wine with a, with a song. Strong drink should be better to them that drink it because you're going to be in a bitter state. And all the all the alcohol going to do is increase it. So it said the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. You should desire to go into a city and should not be able. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. You should own nothing and be happy. Okay. Agenda 2130. I mean, agenda 2030. All right. It started off as... Um, agenda 21 back in 1992. Now it's agenda 2030. So, man, this devil, he gonna have a he gonna have a field day with unbelieving Israelites and the rest of the people of the world. And the Lord, you know, he told us to tell you. He said, before it spring forth, I tell you of them. All right. So let's watch this video again. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Our darkest days are ahead of us. Not behind us. And now is the time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order out there. Just clap for that, you stupid bastard. This will be the time because you really need uh, world order, financial world order. This alternative vision argues that ordinary men and women. You know, I don't even have to get the mark of the beast. You know, you, if you don't know the mark of the beast scripture. I mean, I, I, I mean, I understand if it's like your first time coming across a video of the Hebrew Israelites, particularly the great millstone, because we the one that's really teach it. But um, but yeah, Revelation 13 and 16, he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, receive a mark in his right hand on the forehead. You can read Revelation 13, 16 through 18. That is the world financial order. Are too small minded to govern their own affairs. But order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all powerful sovereign. And that's a new world order. As a matter of fact, I made me think it is. Is it first Thessalonians? Let's see. Yep. It said, for when they shall say peace and safety, because like basically talking about giving yourself over to an all powerful sovereign, that's you putting your trust in them. They basically because the way that they work, they formulate a problem, they get a reaction and they already bring they already got a solution on deck. So you giving up your rights to an all powerful sovereign, they're going to cause it for you to feel like this is the best way to go. So it said, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Because now, since you did give up all your rights, you don't really got rights anyway, but let's, let's play devil's advocate. But, um, but since you, since you've given up your rights that you don't have already, now they can really have their way with you. And it's going to be nothing but term or term oil from then on. And it's a process to all this. Because this is literally what's going to be the case. Oops. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. That's the Lord judging this place because of this wickedness and your pride. The scripture says that um, when when one man's heart depart from his maker that's the beginning of pride so when you don't have god in all your thoughts and you want to do what you want to do that's pride so the lord gonna allow this destruction to come and a man should have pity a man should have no pity upon his neighbor but should destroy their houses with the sword spoil their goods because of lack of bread and great tribulation all right and and i and i see within this set of scriptures right here that's when it's going to be so bad and then the government gonna come in and act like they're going to help you and then it's going to even be worse all right so to end the video on this video.
We are here to develop the great narrative, the story for the future. But in order to shape the future, you have first to imagine the future. You have to design the future. And then you have to execute. I'm going to tell so all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Shalom repent